Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West. And today I was going to talk to you about body mount bushings. Now this happens to be interlock body mount bushings, which is something we created back in the early 80s and have been making them ever since. This particular kit here is an 819 kit. And this fits 68 through 74 Novas. And it also fits 67 through 69 Camaros and Firebirds. Now what's unique about the 819 kit is that sometimes you want to lower the body on the frame, get your CG a little lower, and this is one way of doing it. But this also incorporates the use of our subframe connector, which looks like this. When you do a body mount kit and, and install it on the vehicle, you've got to have specific heights on the body mount itself and we're in relationship to the total overall height, which is right here. You can see this here, where this would go through the frame, and this is a female portion which comes up from underneath and locks it together. That's why we call them interlock bushings. Normally they're 800 thousandths thick. This here is actually 400 thousandths thick. So it, it simulates like a half inch drop, but it's a little shy technically. But at 400 thousandths, this is as low as we can go without you starting to run into troubles with the floor of the unibody contacting portions of the frame. So what we've done is guys that are going to do this, and this is something you want to do when you're building the car, not afterwards, because when you do a, a drop like this, there's things that are going to change in the vehicle, and I'll tell you what they are. One, your air cleaner to hood clearance is going to lose 400 thousandths. So if you're running a real tight situation there with maybe a high rise or whatever, and that air cleaner is right at the very edge of possibly hitting the hood, you only have 400 thousandths left. You might want to check that out. Second, when you run a, a drop in the body mounts, you also got to make sure you have enough room where the steering column comes through the firewall and make sure there's enough area there so that when the body drops, it doesn't interfere with the fire, the, the firewall doesn't interfere with the steering shaft. That's another thing you got to look at. And the other thing underneath is you have to make sure, depending on how your exhaust runs and what have you, that you have the clearances and also the type of transmission you have, whether those transmission ears are going to interfere in, in, the, in the tunnel. So there's some things that you do need to look for. So that's why I say when you're building a car from scratch, you know, from the get-go, that's the time to put these on. If it's already built, you have to look at all these different locations. And also, the radiator, by the way, gets closer to the, to the hood. Everything changes. One of the things, too, is a trick I use when I was doing these kits and putting them on, is I use Play-Doh. It's real easy to put Play-Doh on top of the air cleaner, do wherever, and slowly close the hood down, and you can see how much of a gap you've got. Because you guys also, also take into consideration the engine rocks a little bit as well. So there's some tricks that you want to do. Here, this particular kit is designed to go with our subframe connector, and it sets everything ended up at, at like I said, 400 thousandths less, but I'll show you the differences here. So this, you see how thin this is right here? When you put that in conjunction with the subframe connector and stack these together, this goes around the outside of your frame not inside the frame, but around the outside. And so that thickness has to be in consideration when we're matching it up to this. You don't want body mounts to have different heights on these particular vehicles. Now, if we were talking Chevelle, A-bodies, and, and a lot of other vehicles, there are differences. In fact, on A-bodies, there's several different locations, and there's like three different heights that you have to deal with all along the seven per side. So there's actually 14. On these particular vehicles, they're the same. So when we make this kit to allow you to drop it down using our subframe connector, we make the change here. So these will always be at the very rear of the subframe. These will be at the firewall. And of course, the other ones right here will be at the radiator core. In this particular kit, you'll get all new hardware, directions of course, torque specs. And the reason for doing this, going to a solid body mount, here's something you need to know. When you go to a subframe connector, the back of the subframe connector is welded on. 
the front, you can weld it or not. And the reason why we do the solid body mounts, and here's why, is because a solid body mount is not going to allow for any flex, okay? It locks it down. If you have something that, like rubber, that has a lot of forgiveness in it, what you're doing is you're putting a lot of leverage on the area where the frame is welded. You want everything locked down so nothing is moving. You can weld the front of this or you can bolt it. Now with a solid body mount, it's easy to bolt on because there's going to be no forgiveness here once you bolt this down. And plus this makes it easier for you to, if you ever had an issue where you had to remove your subframe and put a new one on, you can simply unbolt it and, and take it off. Where if you weld it, you got to cut the welds. And when you do a solid body mount, you want to have all the body mounts solid. You're going to want them at the firewall, but you're also going to want them at the radiator core support because you don't want that particular area, again, flexing where the rest of the car is not. Okay? You lock it down. Federals will stay in position. Everything, everything holds. The whole car becomes one. Going to a solid body mount, you're going to improve several things. One is you're going to reduce squeaks, but if you're building it for a racing application, who would, you wouldn't even notice it. But once you lock that down, the whole car works more as one. It gets more rigid, and that's what you want. It transfers load faster, which is something you want in a racing environment. And if it's just for the street, it isn't going to make any difference in reference for that, because you're not using it in that application, but it will reduce squeaks and noises, because any flexing going on or movement that the body mounts are allowing will transmit into the car. You will notice that. This particular kit is at 819. It is used with our subframe connectors and it's for lowering the body on the frame 400 thousandths. We call it a half inch drop kit. But it's a really about 400 thousandths. It installs easily, it's not that big of a deal, but I recommend doing it when you're building the car, not after the car is already built, because you do have to check all these different areas to make sure your clearances are gonna be good. All right, 819. 67 through 69 Camino Firebird, 68 through 74 Nova. And also, by the way, the subframe connectors for the 67 through 69 is going to be a 900 series part number, 900 and 900 C for convertible. And if you wanted Nova, it's going to be a part number 903. All right. Check it out online, globalwest.net. If you have any questions, give us a call.